Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I decided to Depending on who you ask ruin another car in 1320 challenge <laughs> uh, So I decided recently to start racing the Subaru WRX because it is actually my favorite car in the game because it's very unique how you race it we always talk about creating your ratios and you have to shift at red line and this and that and you know everybody basically shifts right around rev limit or just slightly after in every single car Subaru is interesting you have to shift early you never want to go all the way to rev limit except first gear so I decided to take it upon myself and make some ratios for the Subaru WRX and share them. So, as you can see, I was racing it today. I modified my sixth gear. That's all I did because I saw some people were a higher mile per hour than I was. So I wanted to modify it a little bit. So I went and settled around 147. Most other people are hitting 149. I don't know what I'm missing, <laughs> but 147 has worked for me. As you can see, here's a 599. 577, 589, and now I'm talking about retiring. <laughs> 556. Five, Jesus Christ. So, we're talking about the Subaru WRX today. If you want to join this game, uh, make sure you go through my link tree in the description down below. Uh, there is a link to the Discord on my link tree, and you can register and play the game. Anyway, modifications. This is a turbocharged car, so if you are on the Discord, follow the, two, uh, the turbo setup. From there, you always want to do lightweight wheels for virtually any uh, types of racing. So either the regular 37s or the 37 pinks, or if you get your hands on some uh, Halloween wheels or even some other wheels, things like that. From there, show you the dyno. Dyno is 468, 458. Oh, wow, the dyno is... This car is weird. It's like it's not... Well, I see why people shift so early now. Huh, anyway. You don't need the boost controller, but your suspension, do whatever you want with it. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Gear ratios, here's exactly what I'm running. 4.0, 2 2.291, 1 1.565, 1.133, 0.661, with a final of 4.551. Are these full rev ratios? You bet your sorry little smile they are. Because, whatever, they work. Eventually it'll be fixed. But, you know, for right now, if you can do it, do it. Why not? So, let's talk about racing this thing. Racing this thing is very interesting. It's... You full rev with clutch down, full throttle, all the way to the moon. And then your shift point is very interesting. First gear, you want to hope for an over rev. Every other shift, it seems like you want to be about between 6400 and 6600. Is about where I've been perfect. 6500, you can get like 6 or 8.60, 8.59. But there's just like a combo of shifts where it seems like every gear is slightly different. And then you hit your perfect runs. So this is another one of those full rev cars where it's basically to the limit. Um, you want to wait a short moment before hitting the nitrous and go from there. So I'll show you a couple runs here. No promises I actually get anything good because this car is very peculiar. But, oh my god, really? In a. Really? One of the fastest times? You want to see where everybody else is with this car because barely anybody races it? 8.599 
is number two. 8.607, 8.62. Nobody thought you could run these times with this car. No one. Without some form of lag, which maybe I'll explain in a different video at another time. This is ridiculous. This was that 8.556 plus the reaction time because that's how the leaderboard works. I don't even understand. <laughs> like, look, <laughs> people don't even want to race me because we're just not equal because I've just put some time into this thing and I run like a menace. Now, why did I put 8.598 for my bracket dial? Because this thing majority of the time will run 8.60 which is still more than good enough to win most head-to-head -head races. I don't have sound, and I use the sound for launching the car with the lights. I don't watch the lights. I use the sound of the beeping. It's just easier for me. And Letterman another race here. But yeah, if I don't have the beeping of the lights, I just can't race. In the slightest. So full rev, clutch down, launch, get that over rev, and then every other shift you want to be between 6,400 and 6,600 is what feels like is right. Yeah, another 8.59, of course, another breakout. 8.9. <laughs> that dial-in time is ridiculous. I used to use that dial-in time with the modified version of this thing, with the modified dyno curve. God. Ridiculous. I don't know why it's 400 on the dyno and 800 for display. Makes no sense. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, there we go. Golly. I, I just I need to watch back the footage for that 8.568 since I got it while recording and see exactly how it shifted. But let's try again here. You can see I kind of over revved. I got to about 7,200. I tried to go higher with first gear. You can go a little bit higher, but not by much. I mean, every run virtually is an 8.5. Like, it's... This car is insane. Dude seems pretty cool. Send him a race. He just joined the Legends Discord. And brought to my attention that I forgot to fix something with the bot. The Discord. So, that'll be fixed later. Actually, I'll do it here in a minute when I'm done recording. Gotta learn how to do it with that bot. But that's okay. And, yeah, so it's a fun car. This is probably my favorite car in the game because it's got actual shift points, and I very much appreciate that. But, hey, you know, in the end of the day, it's a Flash game. Let me know, you know, what other cars you want to see me try to ruin in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.